Greetings once again from True Life Community, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Pastor Bob here. Martyrdom, you know, is not just something that happened in ancient times. It's still happening today. Many believers are still losing their lives for accepting Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. This happened in Somali. Mansour Muhammad, a Somali aid worker, accepted Jesus as his Savior in 2006. Militants from the Al-Shabaab group captured him just two years later and paraded him before the villagers. The villagers were forced by this Al-Shabaab militant group to gather and watch. The militant group began to quote from the Quran, accusing Muhammad of apostasy. A witness said Muhammad remained composed, never uttering a word as his captors yelled, Ahalu Akbar, God is great, and then killed him. Some say the video of his death is being circulated in an attempt to prevent Muslims from converting to Christianity. And I often wonder if there is at least one or maybe two of any of these savage groups like this who, who have the slightest feeling that what they are doing is wrong, and any God who would allow such a thing as murder can be a God we should follow. John said in John chapter 15, if the people of this world hate you for what you're doing, just remember that they hated me first before they hated you. If you had the same spirit that the world has, people would love you. But because I'm asking you to be different from the world, the world will hate you. John 15 verses 18 and 19. The enemy of God's people is still very much at work. He's still persecuting and killing those who have a steadfast faith in God. But the words, Jesus Christ is Lord, has been uttered for over 2,000 years, and Satan is still trying to silence the voices of God's faithful people. Revelation 2.10 tells us what to expect as Christians in a world that is becoming more and more non-Christian. As a matter of fact, Christians today are being blamed for the conditions in our own country. In Revelation 2.10, it says, Don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer. Satan will have some of you thrown into prison, which will test your faith. There will come a time of severe persecution that will be extremely hard on you, and it will last 10 days each day, meaning a year. Be faithful until death, and I will give you a crown of eternal life. Father, we thank you for that promise. We know that there are difficult times coming for Christians, but we know that you have a reward for them at the end. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Amen.